This is the contentious, the weird, the unexpected two-tone explorer. Welcome back to Bark and Jack. I'm Adrian. This channel is about drinking coffee, talking watches, and this is what we're looking at today. This was launched this year in 2021, and it wasn't all that liked. I'm kind of saying that as if I thought differently, but I didn't. Rolex has launched a new two-tone explorer, which I hate. I really didn't like this when it was announced. It looks fancy. It looked odd. I'm really fond of the Explorer range as a whole, Explorer 2 and the normal Explorer. So I felt like this was just a silly addition to the very purposeful collection that is the Explorer range. But this isn't actually the first time Rolex has done a two-tone Explorer. In the 60s, they actually did a two-tone Explorer just for the Canadian market. It was part of the North American market, but I think this was just aimed solely at Canada. It wasn't a true Explorer though. It was one of the Air Kings that had the Explorer dial or rather just had Explorer text on the dial. The new Explorer, the 124273, it's not for me, but I can absolutely see why people are buying this, why this is appearing on Instagram and people are enjoying this watch. I think it's great. The dial itself looks amazing. The gold really pops against the black dial. I'm not a fan of the over polished center links but at the same time I kind of feel like if this was brushed gold it would just wouldn't work it would just look a bit odd over time the gold is gonna dull over time the gold is gonna scratch up and it's gonna scratch very easily and then I think it's gonna get a lot of character the watch does come across as a different sort of watch. It doesn't have the very obvious, even though it's exactly the same watch, just with little touches of gold, the atmosphere of the watch, the styling of the watch has completely changed and having it in hand, it, it feels different. It has more of a feeling of a date just that it does feel more formal, but there's just something fun about that. It certainly has more of an air of being classier, if you will. The black dial, the gold and the steel, that just, it's such an awesome combination and it looks amazing in our new black watch roll. This is our new watch roll. We still have it in brown, but we now have it in black and they both come with leather inserts to protect the case back from the bracelet. These are live right now over at barkandjack.com. Thanks to Jonathan at Edinburgh Watch Company for letting me get hands on with this watch. I really enjoy the kind of the weird contrast of tool watch with gold. It doesn't make any logical sense, but there's something fun about it. There's something nicely f you about a tool watch in gold. Not so much with the Explorer because the Explorer is quite an understated watch and this is just a little touch. What I like about gold and tool watches is that it's rebellious. It has a rebellious side for it because this isn't how it should be. If you see a dress watch in gold, it just looks classy, it just looks cool. There's nothing rebellious about that and it just makes sense. And I kind of feel like it's more fun if it doesn't make sense. Kind of touching back on that video I did around social media, um, breaking the watch scene and just social media in, in general. It's hard to know if other people are feeling the same as me or whether the algorithms are just feeding me content of stuff that I like. I see a lot on Instagram of people buying two-tone watches. I don't know whether people are buying two-tone watches because they want those two-tone watches or whether it's just because they can't get the steel versions and it is easier to get a two-tone watch than it is steel. So it's hard to understand where the market's going with this, but I'm certainly seeing more and more two-tone watches being bought. And that's quite fun. I wonder if there is gonna be a trend of two-tone watches, especially as it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to pay the premium on a steel watch when you can get the two-tone watch, even on the gray market, you can often get the two-tone watch cheaper than the steel one. So it's all a bit weird. But what I don't find weird anymore is this watch. I think it's awesome. I'm a massive fan of the new Explorer. I, I think it's an incredible little watch. A lot of people are saying this two-tone Explorer is a push for Rolex to get this watch into a female market or to make it appeal to ladies more. I can understand that comment, but only in the same way as Rolex making a two-tone Submariner. I don't think there's anything more beyond that, but this is cool. <laughs> it's always funny getting hands on with a watch, having slated it online. Um, and it, it, snap reactions to watches are, are never all that helpful for you. I think the biggest difference between this, seeing it in person, compared to seeing it online and with the Rolex renders, 
is the gold is very washed out. The gold is not a punchy gold. It's it's very subdued. It's, it's, it's not as loud as what Rolex makes it out to be on the website. Certainly not a criticism. I think that's the, that benefits the watch. If you want to see the full review of the steel version, I'll put a thing in one of the corners. I think it's this corner. Could be this one, but there'll be a link to the full review of the Explorer. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this thing. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the two-tone Explorer. The Explorer 2 is still yet to be in two-tone. That would just look weird, wouldn't it? Guys, let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you like the style of this video, hit the subscribe button down there and the little bell icon so you get notifications when I drop a new video. If you're on Instagram, give me a follow at Bark and Jack. If you want to check out the watch straps, watch accessories, the new watch roll and the Bark and Jack coffee, jump over to barkandjack.com and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.